Mateo Correa. I'm a marketing student here at Florida International University. My, this is also my icebreaker speech, so this is my first speech ever with Toastmasters. Yeah. Well, today we're talking about fear, and I love that we're talking about fear because I fear every day. Please, do you guys fear every day? Raise your hand if you fear at least once a day. It could be anything. So that's pretty much it. Cool. Awesome, so this is me in 2008. A lot of things have changed since then. Uh, my body transformed. I'm, I'm okay now. I'm not a dinosaur. But a little, a little bit about me. I'm in a fraternity here on campus. I'm a proud member of this chapter of Toastmasters of FIU. Um, nice. Some things I take pride in are my work, club, club, Clubs here at FIU, work ethic. I love being able to connect and find common ground with anybody I meet, whether it's Miss T Mobile, whether it's Morgan, whether it's Rubik's, my man who helped me solve the Rubik's Cube. <laughs> so, my biggest fear is stage fright. Whenever I speak in front of a group of any, like two or more people, for some reason I get stage fright. Now, I, I feel like I handle it well. The only reason I come to Toastmasters. Not because Sushma looks like Ariana Grande, I get it, she does, but it's literally to help conquer my fear of public speaking. Now one-on-one, -on -one, um, I'll do that any day, all day. I love be doing the one-on-one -on -one conversations with anybody, but there's something about public speaking and speaking to an audience that gets me rushed. Now it's not that I don't want to do it, it's just something that gets my heart racing, that I love, That's what, this is why I do it. Now, there's times to panic. My, my public speaking professor freshman year, I don't know how he's a public speaking guy, um, but whatever, he had, the one thing that stuck with me was that if you're on a plane and it's crashing down, yes, you can panic, but when you're speaking to multiple people, there's no need to panic. So this is a relaxing thing. Enjoy your time up here. For any of the speakers, it's not that bad. We, we tell ourselves, Oh my god, I'm nervous, like, but it's a rush, it's fun. I love speaking, it's just doing it often. And also snakes, I hate snakes, so, so I'm never going to your house. <laughs> so there's something about snakes, the slitheriness of it, the, the, their texture, everything. And if you wake up to that in the morning, and that is looking at you, panic, I get it. You can be careful. I'll leave that up there for you guys to look at. Okay. <laughs> But overcoming a fear, the main thing that I've noticed, I haven't read a book about it, it's literally just doing it, diving it. So I have some comedian friends, and I'm like, dude, I admire the fact that you like, tell jokes and make people laugh, and it's so nerve-wracking. Telling jokes to people and making them laugh is degrading if you suck, let's be honest. So what they say is just do it. Just do it, and then for my case, it's speaking. It's speaking in front of an audience, engaging with you guys, who don't know me, don't care about me, but it's literally just telling my message and diving into it, and that's what makes me feel great. Um, when, you, when you feel that you do something that scares you for the first time, if you're scared about anything, it could be snakes, it could be racing uh, bikes, it could be eating laundry detergent, I don't know. <laughs> those are just examples. But when you finally do those things, what I've noticed, I feel enlightened, I feel rushed, I love it. So what I'm doing right now, is my biggest fear and I feel rushed, but it's a good rush. It's something fun that I want to continue doing. I love it. Um, <laughs> so when you're riding, when you're about to ride a roller coaster, so she mentioned Fear Factory, but has anybody ever said, whenever you're at Universal Studios, you're with people, has anybody ever told the person that they're with, maybe when they were younger, I don't want to ride the roller coaster, mom, I'm scared, no, 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 I don't want to do it. Raise your hand if you've done it. Did you ride the roller coaster and were you like, I want to do that again, let me do that again. That's, what I'm, that's pretty much what, what happens when you conquer your fear. You, you're panicked, like Will Smith said, he was like, you're panicked for no reason before, and then once you do it, you're like, the best feeling ever. You feel enlightened, you want to do it, you want to do it again. So yeah, I'm the, I'm the kid that wants to do something over and over again that fears the hell out of me. Another fear that I have is the fear of living in regret. So if I signed up for this role, and I completely backed out, that's a regret. I don't want to live in that. Life is so short, guys, nobody will give a shit about you when you're dead. Like, let's be honest, that, that's the most blatant way I can say it, but when you're done, like, we're on Earth for so many years, nobody's gonna remember what you did, what you, what you said. 
make an impact and do what fears do what you fear the most. <coughs> so this is something I have on my mirror that I look at every day. Fear shouldn't be something that you shy away from. You should go and dive into anything that fears you so you can feel that rush, feel that enlightenment. Face everything and rise. That's what I look at every morning. I encourage you to do the same. Thank you.